This video will show you how to add the Google extension called Screencastify onto your Google Chrome browser. This will allow you to record anything that is on your computer screen. First thing you want to do is click on the three dots and then go down to more tools and extensions. Scroll down to the bottom and click get more extensions. Then type in Screencastify. Click on plus add to Chrome. Sometimes you might have to click this twice due to some blocking issues. You will see that it downloads and then it will appear next to your URL or browser bar. For a first time setup, you'll go through a few steps. You'll need to allow it access to your camera and microphone. If you don't have a built-in microphone, you'll need to add one. This allows it to create a folder in your Google Drive called Screencastify, where all the recordings will exist. Once this is done, you can close this tab and go to any screen you want to record. You can also use it to record things on your dock cam, and I'll show you how to do that in just a moment. So first you will click on the icon. You can test your microphone level and see that it's working right there. You can embed a web webcam and it will basically show your picture if you have a camera installed down here. If you don't have a camera installed, that doesn't matter. Next, you just click record desktop. So if you want to record what is on your browser, you would click this. But say you've got another application open and one of those is your dock cam, you will see that there. You can pick any of the things you have open. I'm just going to go with my screen. And then you click share, which to them means record. It will give you a little countdown to let you know they're about to start recording. And then at the bottom of the screen, you will see this letting you know that you are sharing your screen. You can hide that. When you want to be done with your recording, click stop sharing. If you hide this, You'll have to remember that to stop sharing, you need to go up to this button and click and end recording. Once you're done with your recording, it will give you a view of what you did and let you watch and listen to it. You should rename the recording so that it is easy to search for what you want to find amongst all the other recordings you have. And remember, this is automatically saved in a Google Drive folder for you. You can share it on Google Drive with a link. You can share it in Google Classroom. This is the default setting that people have the link can view it. You can change that setting if you would like. You can also go into your Google Drive and share it with specific people, just like any other item in your Google Drive. 
Hopefully this video explained to you how to get Screencastify onto your Google Chrome browser and how to get started using it. Thank you.